Right, the point I'm making. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem. Right, look. I don't mind people coming from abroad living in England. But the point I'm making is. Neither does the Conservative Party. Right? Because. They factored it in, haven't they? And they've worked out that on their predictions the economy will grow 0.5% by blah 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 you see yeah I'll read it an annual cap on new arrivals would be announced with a figure based on the number of people who left Britain to move overseas overall net immigration would be kept in the tens of thousands rather than the current rate of hundreds of thousands Saying he opposed a rise in immigration which would take the population over 70 million, Mr Cameron said that limits needed to be imposed to ensure public services did not become overwhelmed. He said in a country like Britain you're going to have large numbers of people going and living abroad every year and working abroad and also large numbers of people coming in. It seems to me what matters is the net figure. In the, <laughs> in the last decade net immigration in some years has been sort of 200,000, so implying a 2 million increase over a decade, which I think is too much. Right. We would like to see net immigration in tens of thousands rather than hundreds of thousands. I don't think that's unrealistic. That's the sort of figure it was in the 90s. And I think we should see that again. Mr Cameron was responding to the warning by George Curry, the Archbishop of Canterbury. <laughs> it just gets more and more bizarre, doesn't it? The Archbishop of Canterbury. That he was a bloody druid, didn't he? That an increase in the population to 70 million would be intolerable and put people's, uh, put Britain's traditions of hospitality under strain. The Tory leader said that he would put his concerns about immigration in a different way, adding, I'm in favour of immigration. We've benefited from immigration, but I think that uh, the pressures, particularly on our public services, have been very great. I think we should be focusing on the pressure on our public services on health and education and housing. Reducing immigration levels uh, seen under the last Conservative government would mean around 50,000 more arrivals than departures a year. In recent years, the Tories have shied away from putting the issue of immigration at the centre of the party's election campaigning for fear of appearing as the nasty party. But Conservative chiefs are said to feel that voters are now keen to hear more about limiting the numbers arriving from overseas. Mr. Sc it's not the truck drivers, this is what I'm saying, it, it's not Cali. You see, they're putting that on the news, it's, it's just a distraction. I'm just, in these past few videos, I'm just trying to show you a few things that I've gleaned that a lot of people haven't realised. But it's all in their own stuff, Right? Mr Cameron said that immigrants with skills would benefit the economy, would be encouraged to come to the UK through the use of the points-based system which would operate within the cap. He added, we'll do that each year because part of this is to reflect our economic needs. It should be clear annual figure that people should see because I think a point system without a limit doesn't make much sense. But we should be trying to capture the benefit of immigration for our economy. I repeat, but we should be trying to capture the benefit of immigration for our economy. Britain has got a massive competition advantage. Great universities, great colleges, the English language. We should be attracting the best students from India and China and Brazil, the countries of the future, to come and study here, then to go home, but to want to do business with Britain for their lives, whatever. Instead, our system currently... Seems a lot of people come uh, do endless courses and are actually working here rather than being a proper student visa situation. Frank Field, the former Labour Welfare Minister, and Nicholas Swams, a conserva uh, Conservative backbencher, who are members of an all party group on immigration, welcomed Mr Cameron's words. In joint statement, they said, We welcome this statement uh, for the Conservative, from the Conservatives and hope the government will follow suit. That both carry, carry manifestos, commitments, blah, 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 keeping the population below 70 million. Right, and here's the real deal. Because I'm just saying this is all bullshit. Because someone has put a bit of truth out here, haven't they? And I'm going to read it to you. 
Right, Britain is going to have 300,000 more immigrants. Here's why David Cameron should be pleased. There's a fascinating paragraph buried in the Office for Budget Responsibilities, Economic and Fiscal Outlook. The assessment of the economy publishes alongside the budget. So fascinating, I think it's worth reproducing in its full technocratic glory here. Net mag <laughs> yeah, I just find it comical. You know, it's crazy. Net migration in the year to September 2014 rose to 298,000 up from 210,000 in the year of September 2013. Our previous forecasts have been underpinned by the assumption in the ONS low migration population projections that net migration will move towards the 105,000 a year by mid-2019. A reduction over time seems consistent with the international environment and with the government's declared efforts to reduce it, but in light of recent evidence it no longer seems central to assume it will decline so steeply. So now we assume that net migration flows will tend towards 165,000 in the long term, consistent with the ONS principal population projections. Relative to our December forecast, this raises potential output, output growth by 0.5%, and that's what you want to look at. That's, 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 that's what this is about. 0.5% increase growth right over the forecast period via 16 plus population growth right so immigration and everything what's going on is it's the one isn't it this is what it's all about in other words britain is going to have more immigrants perhaps as many as 300,000 more over the next five years and as a result our economy is going let me read that. And as a result, our economy is going grow faster. No one call me for my right. <laughs> with all that impl with all that that implies for the public finances and the rest. So, in other words, Britain is going to have more immigrants, perhaps as many as thirty thousand more over the next five years. And as a result, our economy is going to grow faster. With all that implies for the public finances and the rest. That rather suggests that David Cameron shouldn't be too sad about missing his promise to cut net immigration to tens of thousands, because it's all lies. It may well be a problem for his re-election hopes, he couldn't give a shit. Right? Since it will surely count against him among UKIP inclined voters that got 1% of the rigged, dodgy, whatever, vote. But on the other hand, failing to deliver on the promise will help deliver the improved economy and the lower taxes on which he's basing his entire election campaign. There you go. Right? So, let's not beat around the bush. Let's not have a go at, you know, these poor bastards that are trying to get over here. Like, and there's 100 attempts a day, and I mean, how many of them will really... The only ones that will really get in through a, a lorry driver are the ones where the lorry driver was in on it, I would imagine, you see. Right? I, you know, if... You just said, wouldn't you? said, well, go on then. You slit the back of the van, right, and get in. Make it neat, right, and I'll drive you through. And then if we get caught, I'll just say, well, you just have to find the company. £2,000. And I'll just say, I just didn't notice. Right? Could have got in at anywhere. Well, did you go round the van and check? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, he must have... Yeah, well, I don't know, do I? Right? Let's have it right. So it's... Let, you know, and they're just putting that on the... On the, the news to like you know, just to control your mind because the reality of immigration is that they're playing it as a party plan, but they're just not telling you. See, will be one.